Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to connect to an open VPN server on Arch Linux. So this tutorial focuses only on configuring the open VPN on the client side and it has nothing to do with the open VPN server. So let's begin. The first thing that we have to do is to install a bunch of packages. The easiest way is to use network manager and nothing else. So if you have something different, you have to actually remove that. Otherwise you will have a conflict and then you cannot actually connect to your internet, even the normal internet. So the packages that we have to install is network manager, network manager applet and open VPN and also network manager VPN. So these are the four packages that you have to install. Once you have done that, we have to actually start the network manager service. This is the systemd service, so systemctl. Enable, the first thing is to enable the network manager service. So in after restart, the network manager should start automatically and afterwards we have to actually start the network manager right away. So we don't need to do any sort of restart or something like that. The second step is to disable the IP version 6 stack. As most of the VPN provider, they do not actually provide anything related to the IP6, they just only support IP4. And if you don't disable your IPv6 stack, what happens is that you will have an IP address leak. So for that one, you can start by creating a directory under Etsy, call it cctl.d and then you need to create the file here cctl.d 40-ipv6.conf and this should be the content of the file i have already created it to make this sh uh, tutorial shorter so literally just copy all this one this line is only this line is different and that one should be something like this so instead of having this you need to have this one as ton zero so this basically entirely disables the ip v6 stack and the next step is to restart the system t system ctl as well as the network manager so the changes of disabling ip v6 can uh, would be taken effect cctl service so we have started the system ctl and now we have to start we restart the network manager and this will cause to uh, network disconnection. So as you can see, now I connected again. Now, the next step is to import the VPN key to the network manager and we are going to use the NMCLI for that. So one thing about the VPN key, so I will recommend you to copy whatever VPN key you have under Etsy open VPN. So if I go here, this is my open VPN key. First of all, copy it either under Etsy open VPN or under Etsy open VPN client. Doesn't matter that one that much. And once you have done that, then you do an MCLI connection import type open VPN file then put the file name so here that's the name of the file so since i have already have this file it's it's actually giving me the error that this is already exist and that's fine if you haven't imported it should actually say that it's successfully imported it did it, it didn't give me error anyway it gave me warning that says that there is another connection and then it's going to add it so now this is the situation, so what we gotta do afterwards is to 
do another restart of the uh, network manager and then try out our VPN. So restart. Let's also restart the systemd cctl.service. So we do that and then we do the network manager. So it disconnected. It will take a few seconds to connect. All right, now let's actually try to connect to the VPN. So if I go here, you see under the VPN, I have two, right? Because I imported twice. Both are the same key, so I try to connect. And the icon here, it changes and it connected to the VPN. Now, if I open my browser and I refresh it, you can see that I am, connect, I am connected to the, my VPN server, which is located in Canada. And it's good to do ex, uh, use this DNS leak test.com and do extended test to ensure that you are uh, you don't have any DNS leak. Now, let's see whether we have any DNS leak or not. It will take a while. All right, it's done. And as you can see, there's no DNS leak uh, either connected. It uses the, the VPN server uses the Google DNS and it either connects to the Canada or United States. 